somebody's handle is water water 77 you are here to chase clout if i curse you na clout i give you so the only clout where i go give you be say i go rapture you to the poverty where your papa done build house inside let me tell you in the world of poverty your father's mansion has a swimming pool that's how deeply entrenched you are in poverty that's why you can jump on somebody's life and the first thing that comes out of your mouth is oh god go and sleep have you ever sat down to think about how completely meaningless and worthless your life is do you know you 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 give light to the word to the meat to the word meaningless i think your essence has no meaning let's even say you are standing in one place you prevent that place from gathering dust but as you are hopping around like a gazelle looking for grass up and down you are carrying your worthlessness from one place to the other do you realize do you realize how toxic you are to yourself and you are about to implode nobody go do you anything only you go buy yourself by yourself uh, as you go compass in life, the first thing we go talk na nonsense. Please make una they talk nonsense so cause I go I go drag una drag una papa for house. <clears throat> so I wanted to talk about something today. Let me put up my legs and relax. I they always like the relaxed mood. It's a bit late because um so many issues going on in the world and uh i needed to rest and also uh talk to people i needed to rest and talk to people on the phone um if you know what i'm saying but something struck me today something struck me today and that is the level of loneliness in today's world ada how are you my darling the level of loneliness in today's world you see i've over the last few weeks people who are really close to me like ada would know that i've been watching a lot of andrew tate one reason probably is because i want to understand where he's coming from another reason is because society has departed from the norm we used to have and you see wherever there is an imbalance in the norm wherever there is an imbalance in the norm the ecosystem scatters I'll give you an example. Oh, House of Gold. Thank you for buying me my first money gun. I never even start. When I don't, they buy me money gun. That's the kind of thing I like. Please go to Facebook and buy me stars on Facebook if you're enjoying the conversation. And if you're enjoying on TikTok, do send me money guns. I love my money guns. In fact, today I want people to send me fireworks. Let me see if I can get fireworks uh -huh. that's my target for today fireworks i love the way those fireworks light up now don't make fun of the hey, house of gold send me fireworks i do like this house of gold guys follow house of gold on tiktok okay so i want us to talk about this and i'm going to use the yellowstone park as an example you see there were some wolves in yellowstone way back and the wolves were eating the beautiful deer and all the other animals they had there so the people felt that if they removed the wolves that the deer would thrive so they went and hunted down all the wolves and within a couple of years even the river flowing through Yellowstone dried up. Everything was imbalanced. After a while, they now started reintroducing the wolves back. And you know, the river started flowing again. 
And I'll tell you this, because the more the deer and all those animals that uh, eat grass, because they were like the wolves are eating these animals, these animals eat grass. The more the wolves were not eating them, there was nothing to eat them. So they were overpopulating. They were causing erosion because they were eating up all the grass. The trees where the forests were dying because they were eating the trees before they could even grow. And the trees were the ones holding the bank of the river together. So before you knew it, because you shifted a bit in the, uh, uh, the you tilted the ecosystem, everything went haywire. You need to understand you need to understand how this affects marriage. I was having a conversation with Naomi today and we're talking about marriage. And I said, me, I don't know how you guys do it. I can't marry abroad. Whether it's marry Nigerian woman. As far as I'm concerned, I pray to God not to let me see what will make me live abroad. I pray as a man not to let me unless lane travel like or come once once enter plane spend two weeks I pray to God that I don't see what will make me live abroad and one of the main reasons is I can't live in a country that is rigged against me I can't you guys don't get it as a man, abroad is rigged against you. In Nigeria, it's rigged against the women. But guess what? If I'm a man of conscience, I'll enjoy Nigeria. No matter how much conscience you have if you live abroad, if a woman decides that... Imagine my ex and I were married abroad. No be waiting with the talk now and I'm going to talk oh. Not be waiting with the talk now that right? I could not date depression by now because not only would I not have my family, I would also have to be paying despite not having my family. As I don't have my family, I'm not at least I'm not paying for it. That's a source of a source of how do I put it? A source of peace of mind. You don't know what it is for a man to work and then pay bills. And they're not even be able. You, you understand what I'm talking about? So, and abroad women know that they hold the key, so they can do and undo. But there's something else I wanted to talk to you about. You see, loneliness in marriage. Women think now. Now let me now tell you how it works against women. It's like the Yellowstone effect. Yeah, because the men know. That the system is rigged against them. Before you go see husband, we go marry you for abroad. Stay. Before you go see husband, we go trust you. <laughs> you will do like this. You will do like this. Before you see a man that will trust you. Forget marriage that will trust you, that knows that I can actually trust this woman. Ah. So women, you think, ah, yes, the system is rigged in my favor. It's good. The problem is there is a scarcity, a paucity of men. Because the man knows that if anything happens, you will keep the house. Oh, there is a paucity of men. The kind of men you are looking for, there is a paucity of them. There, there are men everywhere. The one way, useless, full everywhere. You see, my problem is when you say man, what you mean, what you are thinking of man is person will get block us. Say man. If full America, if full London, if full UK. But the one way go stay. You don't know, say man, they will go sit down for house. You will go work, come back, come meet them there where they watch television. You don't know. If fool. If not that one, you define oh. because guess what? If we break breakup, abroad also takes care of the weaker person, which includes financial weakness. 
But if you are talking of a man who is ready to hustle, who is ready to work with you, positive day. Now, if we are talking about good men and good women, I want us to touch on the, the institution called marriage. I cannot stay with woman. I cannot stay with woman. Over the last few weeks, I've had cause or I've had opportunity to see people in loneliness. Omo Loza says, it's a lie. My husband trusts me. You see, my problem with you is your circle is small and your brain is tiny. So it's very easy for you to jump and just make a general conclusion. What's, how big is your circle? You see, when people like us talk, I'm talking to you and 407 people are watching. What does that mean? It means I have access to 407 people. If you put on your life, you will struggle to have three people there. What does it mean? It means your circle is small. And when your IQ is low to join the small circle, it actually presents itself as a problem. But you might not be able to see it. Because your one husband is faithful or is good or he trusts you or you think he trusts you until you really find the truth out, which I'm not going to be the one to break your heart. I'll let the situation play out. You tend to make generalizations until you've had the opportunity. Uh, there's one person there who's talking nonsense. Um, please. Wilfred. What? Okay, Nzu Nation. He says, go and sleep. You see, my problem with you is because you are at your security post. Eh? You see, you see, Ode to Nshe, eh? Washe Ode. To ba wadag basi. Wawadi babo Ode. As in old man security. Lain babo Ode. Everybody, they mock me babo Ode, nye? Babo de, don't she babo de, na him be your destiny. Jada no lori live me, we re buruku. Jakulu. Can I finish? Can I continue? I don't delete in destiny. Can I please continue having this conversation? And please keep quiet because I hate being distracted. So, you see, there's this whole new world that is being created and in as much as i want women to rise in as much as i want women to have the opportunity to express themselves and excel i need you all to understand that there is a natural balance it might be artificially created, but it has become natural simply because it has existed for so long. And it is the male-dominated society. The Bible says the man is the head of the home. The Bible says men can marry many women. And, and here's the wisdom in this. You see, if I am a man who is strong, I marry those days. The stronger the man, uh, if I in Nadika, saying 75 years. What's that in the equation? Your, your name is Inadika, but it sounds like inadequate. And you are here typing 75 years. Is that the age where your father is going to finally jump off a cliff because he is broke, poor, lonely, busted, and disgusted? I don't understand what you mean by 75 years, if I inadequate. Eh? If I were you, I'll go and change my name to 
James inadequate. I will keep the surname because it, 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 it at least carries the essence of my being. How do you wake up in the morning and decide that your father's stupidity is what you want to, what, what you want to carry on your head and showcase? Papa, no, but please, please, make una day careful today. I'm not in, once I'm on a roll like this, I will clear everybody. I know my, there are 467 people watching me. I know my make I cuss all over now, one by one, they pick una. So once you see me that I'm like this, I'm, I even thank God, say I never even block him. If I, I beg, no vex. So I'm done with people jumping and talking nonsense. So make you no know, be said, I go just strike your hand. Can I please continue? If I no vex, I beg. I'm not big enough. I'm not too big to be able to apologize if I'm wrong. This time I was wrong. If I no vex. So let me continue with what I was what I was saying. You see, there has been an imbalance in the society created by the fact that we want to tilt the world. I was telling you something here. I said, in the beginning, what was what a man needed? A man needed to be strong. If not, those days when there was no law, no police, we're all living in caves. If I want to sleep with Ada, I just have to be stronger than the last person she's sleeping with. That's what all I need required to do. I just have to be able to walk into that place and beat the person up and drag her down with her hair and drag her to my cave. That's all I needed to do. I didn't need to be richer. I didn't need to be wiser. I didn't need to have more. No. Initially, it was strength. Now... To survive where there are no medicines. I needed to be resistant to disease. I needed to be resistant to disease. <clears throat> Guys, pay attention to what I'm saying. I needed to be resistant to disease. I also needed to be fast. I needed to then to stay alive i also needed to be intelligent so as to protect myself from the roaming wild animals that want to eat me so i want to be stronger than my fellow man wiser than my fellow man and disease resistant a man who possesses these genes is all if you've ever bred horses before or pigeons or any animal, you would understand what a good trait is. That is why some breeding horses, their semen can be as much as $10,000. Just go and Google thoroughbred horse semen. You'll be amazed how expensive it is. Because they will use it to breed other females. Official UDO says, Oga, go and sleep. I'm looking at your DP, your profile picture. It just screams at me saying, Boss Conductor marries Paraga Seller. Why is your wife looking like a motopark Paraga Seller? And you looking like a retired Molue Conductor? If I were you, I would put black on my screen because I should be in mourning if I had a wife like the one you are displaying. Oh, goodness. What are you trying to do? Scare the kids in the neighborhood? Oh, you, you want to save money on security gadgets so you married a witch? They're blocking down. Hey, ma wopunu. The essence of what I'm saying, you are not listening. Can I, can I continue? 
I don't block him, but he go collect. Listen, before I block you, you go collect. So can I continue now? Good. So a man those days had to have physical attributes. And the only way he could pass on his physical attributes, please Google race horse, thoroughbred race horse semen price. Just Google it. Go, go, to, go to Google, type thoroughbred. Thoroughbred race horse, thoroughbred horse semen. Price. Thoroughbred horse semen is the world's most expensive liquid. Thoroughbred horse semen is the world's most expensive liquid. Other liquids that are expensive are horseshoe crab blood, the blue blood in horseshoe crabs used for medicines, and scorpion blood. Sorry, scorpion venom, very expensive. But the most expensive liquid in the world is thoroughbred horse semen. Why are thoroughbred horse eggs not expensive? Why is the semen expensive? Because a man passes on his good traits to whoever he mates with. Now, when he mates with a thoroughbred woman, he passes thoroughbred genes. When he mates with a normal woman who's not thoroughbred, he gives her his genes so that even if she cannot bring them forth because she has more powerful, uh, um, what's the opposite of dominant, recessive genes, she still carries the genes from him to give to her children. So when a man marries 10 wives, he is contributing genetically to the society. When a woman marries 10 husbands, there's nothing she's contributing. Let's tell ourselves. When a man who is wise and strong and disease resistant marries 10 women, he is passing on that gene to 10 women. When a woman does the same, the problem is it doesn't work out like that. So a normal woman sleeping with 10 men can never, even if she's the one with the, with, with, with the good genes, how many children can she have? How many men can she... So, 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 so let's break down the equation. We have a society, there are always more women than men. In most societies, there are always more, especially those olden days, because there were wars and all that. So let's say we have a society of 50 men and 50 women. Out of those 50 men, how many can the woman sleep with and have children for? Some women have dominant genes, but let me now break it down to why the dominant gene of a woman is near useless. How many children can a woman have in her lifetime? How many children can a woman have in her lifetime? Maybe 20. How many children can a man how many children can a man have in his lifetime? Maybe two million? During the slave farms, those days in America, there was one particular slave male that was used to breed all the females. He was the one that literally had all the children they were raising. I'm talking about thousands. All a man needs to do is sleep with a woman 
every night the average male can sleep with a woman every night for one year if you sleep with 365 women and you are fertile at least 50 of them will get pregnant at least 50 of them will get pregnant there's a guy who just insulted me i will not mention his name because he's looking for they count on them they learn work go and check all those kings someone says one woman for uganda also had more than 20 kids is rare no woman in this world has had 30 children no woman but meanwhile as a man you can have a thousand children a fertile man like that in a fertile man can sleep with three women a day three women easily he doesn't have to do to get a woman pregnant you don't have to do touch your toes just put the thing inside and release you want to tell me that an average man cannot release three times a day The woman in Uganda has 44 children. Okay. Can a woman have 100 children? A man can have 100 children in a year. As long as he sees the women available, he can have 100 children a year. That woman will have those 44 children for her whole life. So, no matter how good the genes in a woman are who can how many people can she give her genes so a man with good genes is an asset to a community a woman with good genes is an asset but a limited asset let's talk a man can someone say how many men have 100 children let me tell you there are men who to go to school every week were donating their sperm. Some of them are walking on the street. They have 100 children you don't know. Meanwhile, a woman is, from the day a woman is born, till she day she buy, all her eggs are already inside her. So a woman cannot be donating egg up and down. Unlike a man that can donate every week. So where exactly am I going with this? Genesis Khan, thank you very much, from China. A man with many women is spreading his good seed to a multitude. A woman with many men I just knock that they not come. She's not populating, she's not contributing more than five on the average to ten children to the community. A man, on the other hand, who has good genes is communicate is contributing in the thousands. So when you now rig the system in favor of the women and you push the men. To the background what you are creating is an unhealthy imbalance and that is what the world today has become it is an unhealthy imbalance and because men are not getting the value they need or deserve or both what is happening is fewer are getting married women too are going into marriage with expectations they want a domesticated man do you think my cardino guy is going to wash dishes with you do you think the baby is crying and my cardino guy is going to run into the bedroom to carry the baby with you do you think aliko dangote is going to be married to you 
and then coming to read a bedtime story to the pregnancy i remember one of my friends she was pregnant and one of the reasons why she was quarreling with the husband who was a lawyer on his way to becoming a son one of the reasons why she was quarreling with the with the lawyer was because the guy didn't have time to read bedtime stories to the pregnancy as far as she was concerned from the time the baby was six months they should be reading bedtime stories to the pregnancy we're not talking about money now we are talking about that thing that you are looking for that my cardino girl come and sit down with you and read bedtime story to a pregnancy mm, let's tell ourselves the truth or elon musk the only person that, among these people that can do is maybe uh what's his name mark zuckerberg because in wife don't i am <laughs> The rest of them, you are too busy hopping from one place. You know, see where Elomos they sleep. Elomos they sleep for floor. Just put mattress there, they sleep. Papa, they walk 24 hours. Now, I ain't go get time to the read story to Bele. Some rich men take time to bond with their Bele. They never get the money of my Kadenuga way. They run conglomerate. You get time to blend with Bele. It's impossible. Tell him that I said that. Tell my that Daddy Free said it is impossible that with the level of work he has, he will leave his work and come and sit down with you and be reading story. I'm not even saying reading bedtime story to a baby, you reading bedtime story to a pregnancy. But that's what women are looking for. They are looking for domesticated men, lions with ponytail. We will not go feed the pet. I uh, say romantic. Let me tell you, you have to choose in this life. If you want to be romantic, kiss those billions goodbye. Which time do you have to do romance? Which time do you have to do romance? It's like people who have never worked with billionaires before. Just sit down with their children and have, let them let them talk to you about their what their fathers do. Their father will go to bed at 3 a.m. He's just returning, he's going to bed. By 4 a.m., they'll come and wake you. Say, yeah, 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 we're going to California. They, as, they are, as they are waking you, they are calling the drivers, calling the escorts, calling the pilot to get the private jet ready, rushing to the airport. That's the time they will have to read, unless it's once a month. Like it's his regular routine every night to come and see. Is he going to sleep at home every night? I was talking to one of Abiola's children. She said they used to see their dad once in two months. They used to see their dad once in two months. That's when they see their dad. I'm not a billionaire. That's why I can be. I can afford to be romantic. I'm not a billionaire. The closer I get to billion, the closer, the further away I get from romantic. So, so, so what am I saying in essence at the end of the day? Women are looking for domesticated men. And these men are also being ripped away from their natural instinct. The natural instinct of provider, the natural instinct, they are being, that instinct is being pressed down. So a man that can have 1,000 children lives with a woman and then if she cheats on him or if he cheats on her the woman is going to say i'm going to cheat on you too it's one of the reasons why men don't marry because some know that there's no way they will live for how many of you can live for 10 years and not sleep with another person except the woman you are living with be telling yourselves the truth now you come and shout here yeah yeah did your father stick to only your mothers if only people knew if your fathers are still alive just wait till they die you will see the other children coming from the corners and the woodwork. So the society is imbalanced. And what is this creating? It is creating a system where marriage is growing away not going away growing it's 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 like religion whether you like it or not 
you cannot continue selling the old scam as religion because people are beginning to wake up there's the bush meat scam let me tell you what the bush meat scam is a white guy goes into a community of hunters and villagers and says he's looking for one specific type of squirrel that he will pay hundred dollars for that squirrel so the hunters go into the bush and look for the squirrel and after a while like three of them come and they get hundred dollars each then the next day they go out into the bush and they can only find one and he the man now says you know what i'm willing to pay five hundred dollars for this squirrel because i need this squirrel badly so all of a sudden everybody goes around into the bush looks everywhere starts digging up they now get the few squirrels that are left and bring to give to this white man the white man sees that there's a he has created a scarcity of the product he now offers one thousand dollars each for the squirrels that's the scam that's the scam he now offers one thousand dollars each per squirrel so guess what happens in the neighboring village one guy shows up with 30 squirrels and says he's selling each one for one thousand dollars for seven hundred dollars the farmers in this village knowing they can't get any squirrel will now go and pay this guy seven hundred dollars per squirrel believing that the white man is coming back to buy the squirrel at one thousand dollars and that is when the scam is perpetrated legally because he sold you a squirrel he's not the one that told you meanwhile he's working in league with the white man so the white man will have spent like two thousand dollars buying the squirrels and creating the scarcity this guy is going to come and make like twenty thousand dollars give the white man his fifteen thousand dollars chop his own five thousand dollars and leave you you'll have sold your house he sold everything you had to buy these squirrels waiting for the white man to come back and that's when it will dawn on you that ain't nobody coming back to get you and that's the scam of religion it's a recycled scam and once people start finding this out they're gonna start running away and by nobody coming to get you i don't mean christ is not coming back that's not what i'm saying of course christ is coming back but what i'm saying is the person who's coming to save you from the problem you created unknowingly is not coming back to get you so moving on in a situation where we've seen religion lose its validity and its potency, we're beginning to see marriage to lose its validity. Because you are angry and saying, my mother stayed in her marriage. The institution of marriage then is different from the institution of marriage now. The institution of marriage now has become watered down. It's no longer what your father was in or your grandfather. Oh, yes, women really suffered back then. But I keep telling people, what we have done is not raise women from beneath us to beside us. We have raised women from beneath us to above us. And that's it, an imbalance. The woman is supposed to be slightly below the man in the hierarchy of marriage. You might not agree with me that's your business she's not supposed to be his equal she's supposed to be a little bit beneath him not a wide margin no she's not supposed to be owned by him no she's supposed to be a little bit under him just enough to be under him because that is how the society has been built and that is how it has existed for two thousand years and let me tell you something here it's not like if women and men are equal, the society will not adapt. While that adaptation process is going on, 
people will suffer because you will not be able to live in a marriage men will run and once men run women to run so at the end of the day you're gonna have this i can't be in a marriage i can't be in a marriage and then we have this problem that will now manifest itself several generations later or several decades later when you get old a lot of you have you ever given yourself have you ever given yourself or given your old age any thought by your old age i mean when you're in your 70s do you realize that if you do not have a partner you will be lonely you see, women will tell you, I don't need anybody. I don't have to have intercourse. I don't need to be anybody with anybody. I don't have to have intercourse. Stop lying to yourself. Your body is built with a space for intercourse. There is a place in your body. Guys, can we keep on? Can we? Keep, have one conversation here there is a place in your body designed for intercourse a lot of you think that you can live by yourself you go they do a low show forget it any woman that tells you i can live for two years without intercourse is either you have a defect you have a problem or you are doing coded wrongs two things you cannot live for two years without intercourse because your body is not just like you cannot breathe underwater the same thing you cannot live without intercourse for two years you can't so stop lying to yourself marriage is the most important decision you're gonna make in your life because it's a career decision but marriage Marriage can also make or mar you with regards to loneliness. If you enter a bad marriage, you will be in a marriage and be lonely. And if you don't enter inside the marriage at all, you will be outside and you'll be lonely. Someone said, I was celibate for four years without intercourse. Now you know what they deal with inside your mind. You think it is normal. Is either you have a defect eh? or you are getting it on the side. It is not normal. It is not normal for a woman to be without intercourse for more than maybe two, three months. If you have toys, it's different. I mean, without any form of in that, you are just waiting. If you have toys, it's possible. But that without toys, huh. ah, Mikuna de Chekuna Selfu. Now, for men, let me tell you hello, men. I can live without intercourse. Who? You should never, from the moment you are 25, you should make sure you are releasing what is inside your prostate regularly. It will deal with you in old age. It will deal with you, you know, man, it is not a pride to be celibate. You will, you will, you will answer the question in your old age. Hey, I'm a man, I'm celibate, I'm celibate. Ish and kaki deal, it's not a good thing. No. You are setting yourself up. Someone said, Mr. Free, speak for yourself, not for us women. If you are celibate for two years as a woman, something, there's a problem. There's a problem. Something is not okay. Your engine or a need gauging.
Your engine oil need get gene. Don't you see people, people, and and do you know do you know how this destroyed our parents? They'll be doing guy, they'll be doing strong man. Inside waiting, they'll, they'll be doing holiness. Meanwhile, you are doing holiness and you are stealing government money or whatever opportunity came your way. Please cut the whatever it is. Let me not use the word. It is not normal. Women, if you think you can stay by yourself for two years, it is not normal. It is abnormal. Unless you are approaching menopause. Those couples in long distance relationship, ask them, let them tell you what they are really doing. Why do you think there are so many leaked videos all over the internet? Where do you think they are coming from? Where do you think they are coming from? This is why I say hello at media. Wait till you won't come talk before. Don't be nonsense. You can't talk, talk how, how God do this, God do this. No worry. No worry. We men, you can stay one month, two months, three months, maybe six months. If you can stay two years without intercourse, you are abnormal. There's a problem with you. And men, please, all these women that are typing this, avoid them, not marry them. Oh, because if they feel stay for two years without them, if we not fight, that fight will reach two years. Because the easiest thing with the use take settle for this life, now intercourse. When a woman looks at her man and believes that if this man doesn't touch me for one month, I will feel bad. They will be likely to want to reconcile. But woman, if he stay two years, not marry them, put for house. Oh. No marry them. Put if they lock up, they lock up for you. Nothing go make you near them. Now, now liability you marry you. Say you get woman with you wait two years. No be asset to. No go the clap for yourself for back. Oh, make you no disappoint. You carry woman for house. The woman fit wait two years. Ah, a banla problem. The day she go lock out for you, and eh? you go to find house girl up and down for your neighborhood. Now, baban la trouble. Of course, you don't want to marry a woman that cannot go to bed without it. Because if you are not around, she will begin a looker. But a woman that can do a month without it is a problem. At least after two weeks, let her body begin to bite them. Say, ah, let me get back to my husband. Have you ever sat down to read the Bible? Have you ever sat down to read? You people are thinking it's normal. What is normal? What is normal? Can I read the Bible verse for you? First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 5. Listen to this. This is what the Paul was teaching the church in Corinthians. He says, 1 Corinthians 7 verse 5, Do not deprive each other of sexual relations unless you both agree to refrain from sexual intimacy for a limited time. Limited time is not two years old. So that you can give yourselves more completely to prayer. Afterwards, you should come together again so that Satan won't be able to tempt you because of your lack of self-control. If Paul complained about self-control 2,000 years ago and he was one-on-one -on -one with the church, he said so that Satan will not be able to tempt you because you lack self-control. A message to the church. The church lacked self-control 2,000 years when they were working with the apostles. Now that they are so far away from the apostles, you want to tell me you have, you have a problem, sir. Go and deal with it. Go and see a therapist. Maybe you are circumcised as a woman. The Bible. If you are married, I am married. So why should I have intercourse outside marriage? 
brother or sister or whatever you are just going up and down you are just going up and down you are not you are you you, you are playing you are playing football in the in the on the streets near the football field you don't play the ball go main road you don't run come out for pitch go they kick out for main road it's only they talk now very funny thing but i live um so let me bring a couple of people to share the light on the topic and ask a few questions. <clears throat> a few questions and let's move. I know women want to argue. Ada don't go sleep. I won't bring Ada. I know Ada go like put mouth inside this kind of thing. Let me try. Someone says, saying without intercourse for a long time is called self-control. It's not called self-control, though. The Bible says, open to temptation, no. Why do you think Paul even said, all of you should marry? Because you cannot. And the more you can, the, the less good you are. Because it shows that human there's a human function missing in you. So, I just want to bring one or two people. They have a psychological or endocrine problem. Endocrine, I'm telling you. Hi, Daddy Freeze. Hello, gorgeous. How are you doing? Never seen you on my Hello. live before. What's your name? My name is Fatima. All right, Fatima, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's, it's it's kind of possible, you know, like like and especially as many Muslim women like have than a second side, so they can they can like go with a sex for many years. Are you circumcised? <laughs> Are you circumcised? Uh, something like that. <laughs> wow. So you can see now that the reason why you can is because there is a prop something is missing. Do you agree yeah. with me? Yeah, yeah. It's it's not a good practice. And I wish that people don't circumcise their daughters because what it's really bad. Are you come? What country are you from? Uh, I'm a Liberian, but I live in Chicago. Oh, okay. Is it popular? to have women um, circumcised in Liberia? Uh, I'm on the Madingo tribe. Oh, and the what Madingo type of circumcision, Fulanese. what type of circumcision do they practice? Is it the whole? Um, with the, with the, um, the, like, with the Madingos, it's, it's like, they, they don't, they just like cut off the, the Libya. Okay. But I think with the, it's kind of different with different like, i think everybody do circumcisions in liberia but it's just kind of different way like because we have 16 trap they all do like circumcisions all of them yes but it's just different with other trap they kind of put like a mark on their back it's almost like tattoo you will see like you know those um those especially those lady with like a very curvy body so they'll put like a lot of mark on their body and stuff like that but for the fulanis and the mandingos they'll cut up the clitoris so that's the kind of fun circumcision that they do but it's, it's really did, bad how old were you when they did yours i was little do you remember it i don't remember but i only heard a story because my dad was really mad when it happened so and and my mom didn't want it, but her stepmom did it because other kids was gory, so they just pick me and take me. So I was very little. I think I was like three to four. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow! wow but I've wow. seen I've seen people being second side, like you know, like twenty four, like older people before they get married, they have to do it. Wow! Was, yeah. <laughs> How come? And do they survive? Huh? Do they survive? Yeah. And 
it's like uh, the the circumcision is even done with I had no uh, like no preparations and nothing. They just take it and it just I think it just like a really bad practice, really terrible practice. Hmm. Wow. Wow, wow. What about yeah, your... like you? You should look at a YouTube. You know, sometimes like people have a YouTube videos of it. You should look at it. It's very scary. <laughs> I've never like, seen it. I've never of... seen. You could send huh? me. You could send me one by DM. Send me one by DM. Let me even see what it is like. I'm not sure I'll be able to watch. But let me see. Yeah, what it is. yeah, yeah. I'll like show. I'll show you like a. Uh, uh, I'll say some patients of different, different. Like you know, like all the other trap. The way they do their circumcisions and the mic on them. If you see those lady, especially the Loma tribe, they are like one of the most beautiful women. They have all the perfect body, but their parents put like so many mac in the name of circumcisions. So like, put the marks where. On their back, like they'll almost like a tattoo, like you know they they'll like you know cut it, cut it, then you'll be there on your back for so many months. Some kids, it's just some people die from it. Well, why do they do that? Tradition and inner innerings. Wow, wow. Now let's talk about intercourse. Let's not use the S word. What is uh -huh. your intercourse life like? Do you still enjoy it? painful <laughs> so you probably I never I never had an old guy since in my whole life <laughs> I don't know how I feel like <laughs> do you hate your parents for this Like, even if I want to hit them, I won't because they are not alive. But if they were alive, I would really hit them. <laughs> wow. 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 So, in your entire life, you have never known what it's like to climax. No. Do you have children? I have one son. Are you married? No, I'm not married. Is this one of the reasons why you're not married? No, I like I don't know. It's not one of the reasons. It just like I like because like I'm here in America, so I'm in Chicago, so I kind of live by myself. So I don't live around people from my culture like that. So I have a son, his name is Ayumi Posse. Hmm. So I have a son by a different a different culture, different religion. So it's kind of like really hard to make a decisions of being married because my family would never cons like they would never accept me marrying out of my faith. What's your faith, Islam? I mean, I'm a Muslim. Oh, 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 wow, 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 wow. This is this is a very 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 deep conversation. So the man you're with, I am uh, the man who you have your son for is Yoruba, right? Nigerian. Yeah. So why didn't you marry him? Because he wasn't Muslim. Yeah, we we stayed together, but he's not Muslim. And then he's like from a very straight power Christian's home. So I'm like, you know, I'm just thinking I love I love my religion and stuff. And then I don't really understand the Nigerian culture. It's just kind of like really difficult and something like really hard for me to kind of like, like let go of my belief and then try to um to accept other people and stuff like that. So we're just kind of like trying to make a decision that we can go our separate way probably then I, we can raise the kid by ourselves. Okay. Um, has, has the fact that you were circumcised, was it a problem in the relationship or it was fine? Um, no, uh, the, it's not a, it was not a problem. 
in a relationship like mostly when i have if i'm in a relationship i have intercourse because of the sake of the relationship because i don't really see anything so it's for the sake of the pricing but for me i don't see anything so it's not like, like but, oh but i have how to. long but see you see that's the problem if you're not feeling anything you're just gonna lie there <laughs> and the guy's not gonna right? and the guy is not gonna catch his phone so at the I end know. of the day, he's, he's going to want to go out to meet a woman that can satisfy him. You understand? So it would be a problem. Yeah, we have somebody always, here, please. I Who is this minister of darkness? If the, if, Who is this if, person on the side? The, Talk, make I come out to you, Abby. I always tell my friends that if, if it's... If, if having, if only, like, if only intercourse that can keep a man, I won't keep any man in my life because. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so if it's, if it's like intercourse that will keep a man, I, I don't think I'll be able to keep anybody. Wow. <laughs> yeah. ADA? I got it. I lost my voice. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Were you circumcised? Oh, no. <laughs> no, that is true. No. How do you know you are not? I know now that it's true. I, I see myself, so I know I'm not circumcised. No. My parents are upset. Hey, he's so cute. Hello. <laughs> 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 it's so cute. Aww. There are so many animals. You see, I make a cute nice baby, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. You know sugar destiny. Yes, sugar yes, destiny. My here. sister. How are you, my darling? How are you? Mm -hmm. All Thank right. You. So let me hear from you, ladies. Ebiere, how long can you really live comfortably without intercourse? Um, I have. I have gone. <laughs> like a year and a half without kids, about a year and a half. Yeah. Oh, do you see more? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. A year and a half. Yeah, about about a year and a half. Let me see the comment. Was it normal? <laughs> Was did you feel normal that period? I did. Um, so at least for at least one day, that is my mother is going to watch this too. No wonder you are lying out of your teeth. <laughs> Somebody said that lie. Um, well, for like a year, there was nothing at all. Like nothing, 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 nothing. Um, he got, that is my mother will watch this thing. Okay, okay, just keep quiet before you cast yourself. Destiny, were you circumcised? Were you circumcised? Yes, I am. You were circumcised? Yes, my mom did. How old were you when you were circumcised? I was little, like in my states. I think they do it um, when the child is one week, two weeks old. As long as the child is, is strong, no jaundice, no sickness. They wow. Do. Now I, let I me ask you. Where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. Oh, wow. Yeah, the eastern part of Nigeria. Ah, Eastern? No, 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 I'm a Christian. Oh, Eastern I thought we're just a Muslim thing. <laughs> no, they yes, do. Me, are you Igbo? Not just Muslims. Me? Yes, yeah. I am. But, but Igbo people don't do circumcision now. They I... do. I would say so. They do. Probably not all Igbo. They do. Just like tribal marks. Some people do have, like my sister, my mom gave me, my dad was so mad. But I when you were you like older when you got circumcised, or was it when you were a baby? No, I was a baby. I was not for six months. Wow, so you didn't I even was, know that you had no clue. Yes, I was more like weeks. I was barely one month. Was there a reason why they didn't like is there a reason behind it for them, like culturally um, or anything? I think those days they were just doing it as a cultural thing those days yeah. because every everybody in my house is circumcised both men and female everybody we're seven in number and all of us were but yeah. hasn't it affected your performance and your enjoyment ah, my husband is zero my mother used to say that if i was not circumcised say me for the scatter because i they enjoy it they, they speak to me i know 
I don't see the difference between because no, you no never taste them. Let me tell you, you've never had that level, so you don't know what I it be? is like. I, exactly. If they did I, it for you when you were like twenty, then you will know the difference. Mm, that's true. It's, it not, they was, have like a different. I mean, so they have like three. They have like almost three kind of circumcision. Yes. You know, they have a different different stages of circumcision. Certain circumcision. My own, mm. my own, everything is off. You know they. It never grows like a I I don't see as in, I as in as in everything. No, there as in there is no clitoris. Nothing, to be honest, nothing. But me, I know they feel I'm more like I just feel normal. I enjoy the thing. So maybe probably if I know they not do me for what though, I don't know. I, I honestly I don't know because I heard my sister saying she has not done this since her life. Oh my, my own, they, they happen every time. So, so, no, 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 no. so is it every time you do the do that yeah. you actually climax? Like, ah, yeah. I feel I they feel on top of the world. Probably it depends on the man they do and with squaw. If the man knows Sabi, it might be a different thing. But if the but man you talk Sabi, to the only, you talk to the only one person you don't Thank know. Thank you, God you bless you. Me. Uh, since uh, if to be honest, I, they, I know I know they see the different beings circumcised and not being circumcised because I they enjoy them. Um, that's the honest. As long as man <laughs> give man give head, you take that head, you give you and wear everywhere I go, you know. As long as you you wet, hey, you're calm supposed down, to enjoy them. More, more and calm down. If man, man always a big give head, give you head. Hey, you no, they talk this thing. Hey, destiny, destiny, destiny. You are starting. You are starting. You go enjoy him. I'm telling you the truth. You go enjoy and touch those find that G spots. Put you know, put hand. Get that G spot very well. As they get and the tongue, they wash the plate. The other one. You know the balance equation. The thing destiny, go, you, you know they hear what. You go give us problem for Instagram. Destiny will give us problem for Instagram. You cannot say all those things on Instagram. You want them to come and lock our account. That is because I like her. She's so expensive. Stella answer says, I'm circumcised and I hate my parents for it. Stella arrives on YouTube. Says, Arisa, sorry. She hates her parents. Uh, uh, Freeze, I was, I'm just looking on Google right now. There's like three type of circumcision, right? They, the the tip one, they just cut off the the clitoris. They call it clitoridotomy. Then yes. the tip, the third two is incision. Then the third three is the incubation, inf incubation. So I don't know why they should have maybe like you know. So they have partial circumcision, they have quarter, and they have complete circumcision. So I don't know, like maybe everybody is different, but this is an issue that many women from all over Africa are fixing properly, you know? And I don't think there's a lot of awareness about it. Some people even have like that doing childbirth due to this. Well, I don't land. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, John. Oh, yeah, I make you hear you. I'm surprised. Who who talks about Maria's version? How old person go Maria's version? Not me for 2018. John, oh, can we face the topic on at hand? At least she no mention your name. She no mention your name. Leave destiny. Oh yeah, focus on the matter. <laughs> Mister John, how are you? You're so I'm funny. I'm good, madam. How are you? <laughs> good. But that is this, no, this, no, circum no, this, circum this circumcision thing, eh? you know, most women are we're circumcised, but they don't really know that we're circumcised. Not most to me, I can tell. Me, if I see woman, I can tell the difference because I don't work out for street. I sabi, I sabi the one we get. And I know as the place supposed to be, some have it smaller, some have it bigger. But when you don't see it at all, then you know that there's something missing here. And but you know the thing is, if you if you if you've been with a woman who was not circumcised and a woman who was circumcised, you really know the difference. You will know the difference. Because you will know the if, difference. For, for example, if you go to East Africa, if you go to East Africa, their women are not circumcised at all. And even there's a there's something they practice. They make them pull on their clit. 
Hey, oh yeah, bye, bye, bye. You cannot mention all okay. these words. Pull, okay, pull on. I have to delete this live once we are done. Because... Make it longer. You get mm. And now, those women from East Africa are the best in the world. Because of that practice. Oh, that's you don't know. I, know. You know, if you I, have, to, I have some East African friends. I'm going to ask them. <laughs> if, you go to Kigali, if you go to Kigali, every hotel in Kigali has a Macintosh on the bed. A Macintosh? Every hotel in Kigali. You know where Macintosh is? No. You know that stuff they put on the bed for children who wet the bed? So that the pee will not go into the Are you serious? I'm serious. Every hotel in Kigali has a Macintosh on the bed. So our our West African people didn't know what um circumcision does to it actually it actually makes a woman not it reduces their it, 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 anybody it, it does reduce it does reduce a woman's a woman's libido not a lot. If you go to East Africa, the mother uh, the mother uh, that is the mother think in her early teenage life, the mother actually takes her, there are, there are women who it's their work that teaches them how to pull that stuff and they do pull it on their own. Uh -uh. If you think it go long like this, it go long like snail. So, it's, um, it's the practice that should be discouraged because it's not acceptable. It should be discouraged in its entirety. But you're talking, you guys are talking about female circumcision. What about male circumcision? Men that's that's one, that's one is good though. It's for health reason. They say it's for health yes. reasons. It prevents because cancer. Because I work, I work, I work in healthcare. So like, if I I work in I work as a tech as a technician. So um, when I'm taking care of those guys, sometimes I have to pour water on it because the like you know if it's like close, it actually causes them infection. So like, it's I think it's it's good. That's a good practice. But, but 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 the UK don't circumcise. That's why that's why they have. Oh, you know, it's, it's they have that's why they have UTI. When you get older, if you don't circumcise, you have UTI every day, all the time. Hmm. Yeah, you are at a higher risk of um, catching infections if you're not circumcised as a man. Because even in the US, circumcision is called um, cosmetic surgery. No, it's not a cosmetic surgery. Like, baby gets circumcised, like, it, right it's after cosmetic, birth. It's cosmetic surgery. No, 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 it's not. It's, it paid, by insur it's paid by insurance. I have a it's son. Not, you sure? No, it's not cosmetic. I said I have a son. He was circumcised, like, when he was on, I think, 14 hours before he was born. Well, is it mandatory? Or it's, it's the family choice. They ask you, do you, they ask you before the child is born, what do you want to do? Do you want to second sign him right after birth, or you want to take him home and bring him back? But when I, I had my when I, I when, I had, when I had my son, when I had my son, it was time to the surgery because I had to pay almost six hundred dollars for that. For but where did you, where did you have your son? Oakburn. Huh? Oakburn, the Sugarland. Where in the U.S.? Of course, yeah, in the U.S. What, what part of the I, I live in the Midwest. Sugarland, so Sugarland, Sugarland, Texas. Oh yeah, maybe not Texas. Texas is a weird country, so. What? I think Texas is different. Texas, John. American. I live in America. If you have money, you can go to America anytime. You don't have to. I'm sorry, who just mentioned Sugarland? I did, yeah. John, John, live in Sugarland. No, I don't live in Sugarland, but my son was born. Right. I I bent. I only bent to like ten years. Huh? I want to tell you why it's too hot. I'm going to Sugarland next week, next month. Are they going to find you? No problem. Be careful, though. John, no give a beer, Beleo. No give a beer, Beleo. Be careful, though. Oh, Daddy Freeze. 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 I mean, even if I use CD, I go put the sex inside inside the CD before I trash up. Hey, all right, guys, that's as far as we can go tonight. Lovely hosting you. I hope they will not take down my video, but lovely hosting you. Take care and God bless. <laughs> Mr. John.